Now, this is really important because when you're going to run, you're going to need that space to rotate your pelvis. And importantly, you're running, you're moving, you're moving fast. There's a real danger of hurting yourself. So you need the stability at the front of the pelvis to prevent your sacroiliac joint from crashing into each other as it's open. So you essentially replace stability at the back from that pelvic floor contraction with stability at the front from the core activation. This is where OP patients fall down. They struggle to breathe correctly. They can't get their core to activate correctly. So they can't provide stability at the front of their pelvis. So their body goes, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to tighten my pelvic floor. I'm going to lock it and therefore lock my sacroiliac joint so that my lower back is safe because I am too afraid to rely on my core, which isn't functioning. So OP patients give up mobility for stability at the back of their pelvis. The problem with this is that obviously when you wanna run and when you wanna walk, you can't create that mobility you need. So you have to get it from other places. You have to start dipping your pelvis or dropping it, which is the hip drop that we see. And you're gonna start twisting and turning your pelvis like this. Or you're gonna start driving your knees forward. And all these things are gonna create extra pressure at the front of the pelvis as it twists and it turns. And your adductors, which are attaching all the way through here, they're gonna get twisted and turned with the pelvis. Obviously, they're gonna start getting overstretched, overloaded, and leading to the patterns that develop osteitis pubis. And that, in a nutshell, is what happens to the sacroiliac joint, and how it relates to OP. And just to summarize, if you need, want to run, you need an unlocked pelvis so you can rotate your hip up and back. And when you want to lift heavy weights, you need to lock your pelvis and your sacroiliac joint. Your pelvic floor provides that locking at the back and provides you with stability at the back of the sacroiliac joint by locking, whilst engagement of the core at the front will draw these two points together, which will provide you with space at the back of your sacroiliac joint. If you want to run and if you want to walk correctly, you need to contract your core correctly so you can create that space at the back of your sacroiliac joint for rotation. And if that doesn't occur, if you can't get your core to contract properly, well then your body's not gonna leave your pelvis unstabilized. It's gonna lock the sacroiliac joint and engage in compensation patterns when you're running and when you're moving, which is going to lead to pain and dysfunction of osteitis pubis.